What's up everybody? So I got a little quick one today. Been working on this Dodge, uh, yet yeah, another Dodge. 06 Ram 2500 heavy duty with a Cummins diesel in it. Uh, customer complaint is that he has no right rear turn signal. Acts like the bulb is out, bulb's been replaced, sockets have been replaced, everything's been replaced. Now I'm not sure if you guys or any of you guys are familiar with this, but these Dodges had an issue with what they call the TIPM. It is the Total Integrated Power Module. That module controls pretty much every single body function of this truck. So it, can, it controls fuel pumps, it controls the on-off for the ECU, it controls headlights, taillights, blinkers, brakes, trailer lights, trailer blinkers, trailer brakes. Um, the list goes on and on on what this thing controls. Now, these Dodges were synonymous for having issues with this TIPM failing. Not necessarily failing, it had software glitches, it had hardware glitches, it gets corroded because it's exposed to the elements. Um, a lot of times what will happen is your trailer lights will short out and the tip them senses the short in the trailer lights and will actually turn off that output. And the only way to turn that output back on again is to take it to a dealership and have them actually service the tip them with their scanner. Now, I fortunately have a scanner that's capable of servicing the power module so I can actually do the resets and everything else. This one was a little bit different. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of advice on this if you have a Dodge and you're experiencing this problem. Now, I'm going to show you the, the power module, what it looks like, where it's located. This one's sort of half out, so that's it right there. Your total integrated power module has all your fuses in it. This is a diesel model, so it doesn't quite look like some of the other ones. I know the uh, up to 05, they had a totally different module in here. It had a ton of relays in it and shit, but this one literally just has fuses and that's it but underneath this entire module if we lift this up you'll see that pretty much every harness for everything on the truck comes into this module now some of them have a little bit of corrosion on them this tip has already been serviced once before it's been rebuilt so previous owner of this vehicle had this thing rebuilt because it's got a sticker on it so we were leading to the fact that all right the tip bad again because of you know whatever so i ran the codes on it Codes basically state that it's got a right rear turn signal control circuit high, which means that there is not a short, but there's an open somewhere. Now, nine times out of ten, it's the tip -um that has the open in it. One of the connectors inside here, one of the pins will come desoldered or they rattle loose from being in the engine compartment and they're only held in by these plastic freaking clamps here, so they rattle around and they break. However, this one when you're troubleshooting these things before you take it to the dealer and you have a thousand dollar tip them put in it or you send it out and have it repaired for 500 bucks or you buy a used one from a junkyard which is going to require you programming it at the dealership and reflashing the VIN in it and everything else so before you go replacing this monstrosity here do some very quick research now, on Google, if you Google pinouts for this tip you can find every single pinout of this particular tip -um. Now, my code was a, I think it's a 1684, B1684, which means the right rear turn signal. So what I did was I found the pinout, I found this wire here, which is the actual right rear turn signal wire. I then stripped it back a little bit and measured voltage with the turn signal on. Now I had perfect voltage at this wire with the turn signal on. So that means the tip -um is good. So we actually have a wiring issue. So what I did was I ran this piece of blue wire all the way back because when we measured voltage back here at the connector, we had zero voltage with the turn signal on. So we know there's a wiring issue somewhere between this tail light and that total integrated power module. So I ran a piece of, yes, it's cat five cable. It's all I had laying around that was long enough, but I ran a wire from the turn signal here all the way up to the tip -um. Now, when I connected it to the tip -um, hit the blinker, code goes away, everything works again. So, this literally, somewhere in this chassis, now this truck, mind you, has 305,000 miles on it, so somewhere in this chassis, there is a break in that wire. Now, what we're going to do in the essence of time, as always, and trying to save our customer a little bit of money, I will try to run a piece of wire as close to the factory loom as possible from the tip -um, soldered in, of course, not just wrapped and taped, soldered, 
run another wire all the way back unless I can find something very obvious as to where this wire is cut. Because believe it or not, this harness starts here. It runs down all the way over, runs all the way up the body, above the gas tank, and then all the way up to the front of the truck. So we don't want to be messing around with trying to pull a harness to find one bad wire for a turn signal. So I'm probably going to end up just running a piece of wire to it and that should cure our problem. And this will save this particular customer a thousand dollars in replacing his tipum. We'll save all the fees for reprogramming it. And even if he did do that, he would still have the same problem when all was said and done because it's a wiring issue. So all I can say to you guys for advice, do your research. Electrical troubleshooting is some of the most difficult and time consuming stuff in the world to do. But if you trace it step by step and you have some form of understanding of electronic schematics, you shouldn't have a problem figuring these issues out. I suggest doing it yourself if you can, or you can bring it to someone like me. I actually specialize in automotive electronics as well as fabrication and you know everything else you guys see me doing but this is my true passion when it comes to automotive you guys saw my stereo in my car you've seen all the electronic stuff in that I love doing electrical work so finding this issue was was uh, quite satisfying so yeah if you want to save some money take a look into it yourself do some research on Google the internet's an amazing place um, and you should be able to figure it out save yourself a ton of money and this goes for the trailer lights too. The first thing to go on these trucks is your trailer lights. Once the trailer lights go, then it's only a matter of time before the actual headlights and taillights go. Now, this customer got lucky, but if the tip them is actually bad, they're not necessarily bad. They get corroded, you can tear them apart, you can actually find the corrosion, you can fix the corroded traces, you can solder the loose solder joints, all kinds of stuff you can do to avoid having to spend the kind of money that the dealership is going to charge you. So if you guys are having this problem or anybody that's watching this video is having this problem, please feel free to contact me and I'll help walk you through what you need to do to actually fix it and uh, hopefully get you on your way so that you're not getting rear-ended every time you make a right-hand turn. All right, guys, quick little video for tonight. Again, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate every one of you guys. I keep teetering right now between 698 and 699 subscribers absolutely hilarious but it's like oh yeah we're gonna get there we're gonna get the oh god we lost one and then we get one again and then we lose one then we get one so i appreciate every single one of you guys if you like the videos that i'm doing please 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 smash that subscribe button hit the like button leave me a comment if you have any questions i answer all of my comments i read all my comments so yeah that's it have a good night guys